What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy Wormy. I'm coming at you with another video and today we're actually talking about Star Wars Acolyte because Star Wars Acolyte is coming out here in the next few weeks coming out on June 4th. Honestly, I think that's two weeks away. Oh my lord. And now when it comes to this show, there's only two demographics that are actually interested in this particular show. Those two demographics are shills and the shill media. You know, people like you know who they are. OK, when it comes to shills and shill media, you know who they are and critical reviewers who are sitting down looking at this and thinking, my God, this is going to be so horrific. It's going to get my channel tons of views. I fall into that category right now because I think this is going to be God awful fan fiction and I can't wait to review it. But we've been seeing a ramp up and different trailers dropping week over week. And that's because Disney really does want to try to get this to be their next big thing. Lucasfilm wants to see success within the Star Wars Acolyte trailer. So much so that we're constantly seeing new things or new things, bastardized things really, coming that once was in the EU is now hitting the Acolyte, like lightsaber whips that aren't even accurate to the actual EU lore and don't really make any logical sense. But hey, you know what? Disney gonna Disney. Well, speaking of Disney trying to Disney, it looks like they might have just spoiled a massive plot twist within the Acolyte. Star Wars The Acolyte new trailer might have ruined the Disney Plus show's big plot twist. Now, this plot twist got announced maybe about maybe last summer when this plot point got leaked out on Reddit. But it, it, from CBR, they're saying that this happened basically around Christmas time or New Year's time. But new, the Acolyte rumor suggests one actor will play twin force wielders. I'm pretty sure this has been a much longer thing. But for the most time, we thought that Amanda Steinberg, the person who's playing our main like Jedi killing Sith master person, we knew that they were actually playing twins. One of them being a Jedi, one of them being a Sith Lord or Sith apprentice, a.k.a. the Acolyte. Okay, the, we've known this to be one of the big rumors going so far right now. It, it, it's what whatever you ha want. Well, it, it kind of looks like this rumor is accurate. And Disney literally just leaked it out there because you come down here. Uh, it, it gets funny. So Star Wars The Acolyte is less than two weeks away from debuting on Disney Plus. But it seems one of the biggest plot twists has been ruined already. And as we scroll down here, they end up showing this trailer right here for the actual Acolyte right now. And when you play it, and I have closed captionings turned on, I do want to show this to you a little bit. Uh, not, not a whole lot. I'm not going to play it very long. I'm mostly going to turn down the volume real quick. I'm just going to show you. This is a fight that you will not win. Killing Jedi, it doesn't make sense. I trained her. Now she is a student of the dark side, an acolyte. I didn't do it. Here, I want to keep up. I didn't do it. Okay, I want to keep that part up right there, because Disney's actually since edited this after leaking this plot point. So you come down here. So what have Lucasfilm and Disney accidentally given away? It seems that May, who has been Amanda Steinberg's character, the one going around actually killing the Jedi, um, the character played by Amanda Steinberg, who was cast as the Acolyte lead star in December 2022, is playing twins with May's sibling being known as Osha. And the reason I'm pausing it right here is because you see, I didn't do it. We come over here to Reddit. The subtitle of the new Acolyte TV spot seems to give a major spoiler for the show's storyline. OSHA, I didn't do it. Now you might be just saying, hey, this looks Photoshopped. This looks edited. This looks all sorts of like crazy stuff that they could have injected here to try to prove this point, to try to, you know, push this and say, well, this is an accurate leak. The, the C Disney screwed up. I take us over here to uh, the Star Wars Bad Batch trailer. And uh, again, I have closed captioning turned on. I'll, I'll do it again for you uh, just to show you this. So this is. Oh, feed you Noah. So this is the top team. They do this constantly. They do this all the time. This is a regular thing that they actually put within their Disney trailers, within their Star Wars trailers. They acknowledge who was talking at which time. 
So this massive leak that they have since edited out was all on the feet of Disney and Disney bungled this plot point so badly that now everybody knows it to be true. Everybody knows that these leaks that came out back in December are true. Every ounce of them. I need to go back and read through them. This is just the leak that we found out that there would be um, twins with Jedi and a Sith or Jedi and a, Je a Sith apprentice, whatever it's going to be. Th this was that rumor that announced all that. So now, now who knows what other rumors that came out within that rumor are going to be true. Cause I remember there being a lot of interesting ones, but this is just par in the course for Disney. This is just par in the course for Disney star Wars specifically always bungling something, always ruining something and screwing up, honestly, major plot points. I'm not shocked that this happened. I'm not shocked that they're, they're screwing it all up. And honestly, I'm more curious how bad this is all going to be because this is good. This is going to be like Christmas in June. This show, this is going to be a wonderful time. This is going to be a great time. And I'm going to have so much fun tearing into this because already we're seeing that some of the leaks were basically true but i'm gonna leave it there guys let me get you guys thoughts on all this down in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it out friends hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for every time i put out a new video go live guys and i'll see you all on the next one bye for now